Um, so for our next pass, I mean our next half guard technique, how much we start by basic? Well, let's just let's just chain it actually. So Nora's gonna be inside control. I'll be here. So from here, I'm gonna do my bridge. Remember, I'm keeping this foot dug in here. I get my knee in. Now, just to just to reemphasize this, remember you point your knee down. So it's your hips doing a lot of the work. You're not trying to not trying to leg wrestle Nora here. You're trying to use as much of your body as possible. Start pushing this leg down. Push that away. Drag it back in here. Okay. Now, if you get to this position, and Nora starts dragging. She starts sitting back on her heels, making space, making space on you. Try to stay away from your half guard. I want you to take this knee here, my top leg. Go inside. Now you can either cross your ankles here, it's not very comfortable for me because I have bad knees. You can also stomp, so I kind of flex this foot, make a shelf, I step my other foot on top of it, and I pinch my knees around her hips here. So now I have control on her hips, and I have a lot of, a lot of power and a lot of torque here. I'm creating like a half knee shield, not all the way across, just on the side of the hip that's closest to, the, uh, closest to my other half guard leg here. This lets me keep some distance, okay? So when I'm playing half guard, especially in a no-gi situation, we don't have a lot of grips, um, half guard the gi, you can start getting pants and lapels, you get a lot of sleeves, and you start really making a bunch of different leverage points to make a lot of different sweeps happen. Um, there's not as many opportunities in the no-gi half guard, so my half guard game in both tends to be very no-gi centric. I want to get out of half guard as soon as possible. So as soon as I have an opportunity to slip this knee in and make space, I want to do that. So Nora's still on top of me here, driving in, still keeping his bicep away just, just to be safe here. So I keep this knee shield in, and once I feel comfortable with this space, I kind of press away, and I pull this bottom foot out. I'm going to square back up right away here. Now if I can, I want to, I like this position here where I'm controlling the bicep and keeping this arm, kind of grabbing her tricep here with this hand, and I'm controlling her wrist this hand, doing like a weird uh, like half spider guard, open guard kind of thing. And it sets up a pretty slick triangle here. That's bonus. Or the side control. Boom, making space. Coming in. Get my half guard. Now she starts sitting her hips back to so kind of make some pressure here. Right away I get this knee shield in. Because I'm going to take advantage of this space. I like getting back to my full guard here. So I control this bicep, still keep that bicep away from me. Press with the knees. If I need to kind of track down to the wrist, that's fine. Pull this bottom foot out, set it on the hip. Now I'm going to rotate this knee up without knee and Nora in the chin. And open up to my, my guard here. Now from here, I can use this to set up my butt scoot. I can pop into my closed guard if I want to. Or I can kind of play this open guard position if I feel uncomfortable here with this kind of overhook control. Now I'm going to go back to the side control. Boom. Make space. Knee in. Stretch it out. Hook. Get my half guard. Now Nora starts sitting back. Track down. Clamp these feet together. This should be a nice strong position here. She feel pretty attached. Now if she starts crowding back into me because she feels this is bad, make some space. Track down this wrist if you need to. But you still want to keep control of these arms. Because these arms are going to start making uh, start making trouble for you if you don't control the grips. Now controlling this too to help me out. She can't really underhook me here in this, this position because I'm making a lot of space. If she tries to underhook here, she's actually setting herself up a little bit for one of these goofy Americana locks. And on the, on the flip side of that, if I try to keep a deep underhook here, I'm setting myself up for the same goofy Americana locks. So if you have an underhook here, track it back a little bit. Keep your elbow attached to your hip. Or you can play more of an overhook here, that's fine. As long as this hip controls in. Underhooks here can be kind of, kind of risky, kind of dangerous. So I'm here. Oh, my eye. I'm here. <laughs> it's just like freaking out. So I'm here, I'm making space, pressure away, now I can pull that bottom leg out on the hip right away, boom, square my hips back up, get my guard. Okay? Make sense, everybody? Super basic, but it's one of those things, if you forget about doing it, it's not a habit, it just, it's going to hurt you pretty bad. You need to be able to do this, you need to be able to think about making that space and recovering your guard pretty quickly.